What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Brent Watches Babylon 5 for the first time. Today, we're watching the season four episode, Falling Towards Apotheosis. Episode number four, I had never heard of this word before last week, apotheosis. Apparently, according to Jeff, it means like the highest you can go, the climax, falling towards the climax. To me, it sounded like the word apostasy, which means somebody kind of falling away from the faith. We know the Vorlon are attacking. I landed on Vorlon, and this is about them leaving who they are and what they're supposed to be, right? They're supposed to be the angels. They're supposed to advance society through culture and arts, and they're not doing that anymore, so they're falling away that was what i said this is really a lot about the vorlons doing really really bad stuff so that was my thought but apparently that's not going to be it falling towards the climax yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens as we get into this episode. Thank you guys for joining me. Hey, listen, while you're here, please be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and something I've never really asked you guys to do before. If you like what we do here, share this with your friends. Let them know how awesome Babylon 5 for the first time is. You guys are awesome. You guys rock. Leave your comments down below. I'll do my best to get back to them. But for right now, let's get into this video because I'm I, I kind of like Jeff. I want to see what happens with Garibaldi. I want to see what happens with everybody else. So let's go. Two more deep-range planetary colonies have been eliminated by Vorlon forces. This footage was taken as the Vorlon fleet closed in on Ventari 3. Dang. The ship eclipsing the local stars presumed to be their main weapon, a planet Ooh. killer. That's like a Death Star. It's like a Vorlon Death Star. League worlds which are accepting refugees from Ventari 3. We will continue to update this list as the situation changes. We will repeat this bulletin every 20 standard minutes until we receive new information. Once again, please remain calm. Is this a recorded video right that now, repeats every 20 minutes, or does she, fear. like, do a new one every 20 minutes? Please. I need to get through. No. I have to get to my husband. I have to tell him something. To yeah, sure. A lot of people do, lady. Mm -mm. Who's this? It's Garibaldi. No. Oh, is it Lorian? Is everybody? Oh, Sh uh, Sheridan. Kind of a weird response for Sheridan. Is that Kanicki's wife? You okay? Yeah, I think so. My God, that was him, wasn't it? Yeah, that was him. They say he came back from the dead. Is it true? Did he? Lady. I don't know what's true around here anymore. You can't save them all. I can try. You'll fail. Everybody, Let's see. please remain calm. Once again, please remain calm. Right now, our greatest enemy is fear. All right, so that was the intro. Really short and sweet. The Vorlons are attacking. Vor I, it's what I said was going to happen. Is that what the episode's all about? I don't know. I did say this. I feel like this is going to hold true. We'll see after this episode, maybe after the next handful of episodes. I really feel like this season, it feels like it's setting itself up to be way more serialized from episode to episode than even what we've seen so far here in Babylon 5. Like these are going to be way less episodic and far more one overarching story. You know, these episodes may not be so put them in a bag, shuffle them up and watch them in any order you want as past seasons really tend to be with the exception of a handful of episodes in each season so it's hard to predict an episode and what it's going to be about because it's like one big overarching story so i'm not going to take much credit for guessing that the vorlons are attacking because that's pretty much what they told us was happening in the last episode panic is striking on babylon 5 and people are weirded out by sheridan who i guess what they're just reinforcing to us here is he's back from the dead so people are looking at him as if he's john snow and going what the heck and uh sheridan doesn't want to be a religious figure apparently so i know another station captain who didn't want to be a religious figure too. come to think of it. All right, let's jump into this. I was just looking at the sky. Tell me, what do you see, Malari? The stars, Majesty. Nothing more. And you're not looking hard enough. Vorlons are out there, Londo. Oh, is that They've dude? Gone mad. Attacking any world, any base, any colony where my associates That's, that's Morden, right? Influence. Is this true, Majesty? I've heard nothing. After the last war, my associates hid many of their ships on distant worlds. The Vorlons want to make sure that doesn't happen again. There are over a hundred of those ships here. I assume they will be leaving now. I'm afraid not. The Vorlons... Will never attack Centauri Prime. The ships must leave, Majesty. The ships stay. As our liaison here, you will arrange for a blockade of ships around Centauri Prime. The Vorlons don't want lots of civilian casualties. Majesty... 
Do as he says, Milani. We must be courteous to our guests. Thank you. Good night, Londo. I didn't know that Londo was still considered their liaison. Majesty, this is intolerable. I guess he would be. our people out to defend their ship? I have no intention of sending our ships out there. You don't? Of course not. Walk with me. I call them my shadow cabinet. I think you can appreciate the irony. This dude's sick. Minister Dugari. Do you think he really, like, in his mind, hears these heads, Always like, talking, talking back to him? Stressing, but we finally cured it. We won't be sending any of our ships out to fight the Vorlons, not one. Then you will tell Mr. Morden's associates to leave. Of course not. I promised them they could stay in exchange for elevating me to godhood. No, they will remain on the island of Selene. But when the Vorlons come, if they are destroying whole planets to get at these shadows... Yes! We will turn... Centauri Prime into an inauguration pyre. To commemorate my ascension into godhood, the fire of our world will light my way. Dang. Yes. That dude, you that dude's it. nuts. If I become a god, how will our world survive without me? I cannot just abandon it. That would be cruel, and anyone who followed me would obviously be inferior. Best to put them out of their misery. I will take it all with me in spirit. Don't send the ships. Let it burn, Malari. Let it all end in fire. Yeah, I've said it before, I'll say it again. That dude is, he is nuts. I want the Vorlon gone. Fine, I'll just uh, go up to him and ask him to leave. That'll work. Michael. No, it's all right. That's exactly what I want you to do. Look, he has got to know by now that we are planning to move against him, so let's give him what he expects. Then we can do what we have to do. Do you want me to take a full tactical team? No, just a few people you can trust. That's not enough, he'll wipe the floor with us. I know. As well. Okay, uh, look, if you want me to fall on my sword for you, that's what I'm here for. But you know what happens? Assuming he doesn't frag me just for kicks. Is it my imagination or is Mr. Garibaldi crankier than usual? Yeah, well, he's been through a lot lately. He just needs a little time to settle in, that's all. We're ready. Has Lorianne explained everything to you? I don't know if I can do this, but I will try. Remember, Sherrod, the Shadows were able to kill Kosh because they're alike, both first ones. You've never seen a Vorlon enraged. They're more powerful than you can imagine. Uh, uh, Captain, what exactly are we talking about here? If the Ambassador stays, billions more will die. So we're going to take out the Vorlon any way we can. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, he's a... Uh, Avalon 5 can... We gonna get something. Here we go. We have another update in the Vorlon attack fleet. Something's about to go down. Because of your government's recent attacks on the League of Non-Aligned Worlds, we're asking you to leave at once. All right? That request just became an order. You come with us, we'll escort you to your ship. No. Dude, look at the arc above his head. Oh my gosh. Ooh, busted his face mask. Busted his too. It was computer generated, the crack was, but then the face masks are still fully fine. Yeah, don't actually show us the face mask, guys. Okay. They were bad. We couldn't even touch him. I heard what happened. I came to warn you. Sheridan and the others are gonna move against you. She's got that neck thing again. It is done. They are irrelevant. I know, I know they can't harm you. But I was thinking it can't hurt to have all the information you can about what's going on to protect yourself and the cause. This is all part of the ruse, right? How? Well, I've suspected that someone else here had a piece of him. I think I know who it is. But I can't draw Kosh out of him. He won't let me. A human? Yes. Imprisons one of us? Yes. Intolerable. If there is still a piece of him there, you can draw it out of him. Show me. Here we go. Your thoughts are troubled. I'm worried about Kosh, that's all. After everything we've been through, I'd hate to lose the last of him now. And Open your thoughts. Oh, he's about to, like, get it out of her. We don't have time for this. Open. Is he 
going to explode. Just <laughs> Glenn doesn't like what she's seeing. Oh, he's not going to explode. He's just taking it. He's taking it all like a champ. Oh, no. Oh! Oh! Oh, is that him? Oh, is that what his body looks like when he comes out of the suit that doesn't look like the Jesus thing? Yeah. all part of a plan has this been the plan well what is that is that kosh is that like the original kosh look at him go it's kosh kosh was inside yes the last of kosh and some of him and some of me that's a whole lot of just a little bit of kosh uh, they took him straight through the hall. They'd be fighting. Is that Kosh 2 ship right there? Is everyone okay? So is that the Captain, end of Kosh, right? like Kosh 1? Captain, John! No, wait. His life force must be replenished. brought him back from Zahadun. I give of myself to replenish him. Mm. Hey, you just gave her some of your life force, dude. He's got big, long fingers, man. A god is a god, yes. But if no one knows his name, visits his temples, sings his songs... What good is it? Once we are gone, who will remember the living god Katajra? And what do you propose? I was thinking about Jakar. Bernard, why? He'll be dead in a few days. I don't think he'll be remembering very much after that. True. But what if we conducted his trial and execution on his homeworld instead of here? The whole world would see your majesty's wisdom, see with their own eyes the brilliant center. Then you can accept your imminent godhood. He's just you feeding it to him. Name. Just feeding it to him, feeding it to him. And remembered throughout the known galaxy. You have raised a good point, Molari. Once again, I am in your debt. I'm told the Vorlons will arrive in seven days. This is just enough time. Three days there, three days back. One day for trial and execution. But we must allow them proper time to see me for what I am. Of course, Majesty. You are, as always, quite right. And I will go with you to personally end the life of Citizen Jacquard. He's going to go with you to personally end your life. I had Franklin do a complete med scan. He found things in my neural system, some kind of biochemical energy repairing and sustaining me. I did the best I could. I gave him back a portion of his life, but only a portion. How long? In human terms, barring injury and illness, perhaps 20 years, but no more than that. So Sheridan only has 20 years to live? I'll be in my early 60s by then. It's a, it's a good run, Dylan. I'm okay with this. But I'm not okay with this. I told you I was afraid that I would get you back, only to lose you. And that's what this is, 20 years. I mean, it's a long time. It's 20 more years than I would have had. And, and at least, at least I can spend most of them with you. Hmm. That, that's why I wanted to see you alone. Uh, is he gonna ask her to marry him? Is that what he's looking for? There it is. Man, I thought I'd lost it. Whew. He's gonna do it. I wanted you to have this. It's temporary until I can get you a real engagement ring. What is an uh, engagement it's ring? ring? It's an Earth custom. He really is. You see, you give someone you love an engagement ring as kind of a down payment for another ring. The kind that she hasn't said yes yet. You exchange when you get married. 
I don't know when we'll be able to get around to that part of it. We may not survive the next two weeks, but I wanted you to have this and for you to know that whatever time I have left, I want to spend it with you. He's a good man. Kiss him, kiss him. There you go. There you go. I was just thinking, I, I don't like the way he's looking at me. Is this is where he plucks his eye out. And trying to decide what to do about it, would you care to make a suggestion? Oh, uh, no, I'm sure whatever your majesty decides will be appropriate. I should go and pack. This is it. This is how he loses his eye. Not all for the way he looks at me. Pluck out his eye. It is. Oh, no. And they're really going to do it, too. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Get one. That's dirty. Oh man, is he gonna scream? And they're gonna end it right there. That's how he's gonna lose his eye. Wow. Listen, I think this is a lot of kind of like what I felt last week. Like, I, I don't know what all particularly really happened in this episode, but I feel like a lot happened in this episode. Uh, we go backwards. Jakar's getting his eye plucked out. Sheridan got romantic and he and Delin are now engaged. Although she never said yes, except if you interpret the kiss as being yes. Londo has a super silver tongue. Cartagia is just going crazy. Londo is, he's just implementing his plan. It seems like to get rid of the, uh, the emperor and, and take over Garibaldi is just being Garibaldi and they took care of Kosh too I don't know what overall impact that's gonna have it just gets him off the station I guess while the Vorlon still go crazy out there like it doesn't feel like a lot really happened in this episode but yet it still feels like there's a lot there hey listen I enjoyed this episode is it a great episode is it a good episode I don't know is it gonna be one of the top five of the season probably not but it was fine it was good advancing the plot forward this is what remember back in season two when I I like made the heel turn and everyone's like, and I was like, it's not doing anything to the plot. Like this is moving pieces down the field, which just feels really good. So anyway, I like it. You guys make sure you join me on Monday when I get together with Jeff and we will release our episode where he and I are talking about this episode falling towards apotheosis. Feels like a lot of people are doing that. Londo is going to become the emperor, so he's heading towards the climax. Sheridan is getting more and more godhood. The his relationship with Delenn is heading towards marriage. Garibaldi seems to be going the opposite direction, and Ivanova just seems to be there right now. So yeah, uh, oh Lorian, the whole thing about the, the anyway. Uh, so you guys join me on Monday. Make sure you like, subscribe to this video, share it with all your friends out there. Yeah, I guess we'll talk to you then. Bye, guys.